guys welcome to the september monthly crystal healing video i know i'm finally getting to it uh this is going to be for aries taurus gemini cancer leo and virgo <laughs> okay i always got to count it out like that i don't know why um so for those who are not used to these kind of videos or if it's the first time you're coming across one of these uh crystal healing videos that i'm doing uh so i just started this like a couple months ago and i i think people really responded people really liked it because a lot of people the way this started i guess i feel like they need to give a little background <laughs> i know a lot of new subscribers um i had a lot of people asking me about crystals and what's best for them my view on crystals it's down to the person you have your own frequency your own vibration a lot of crystals um, can be used for very similar things but it's about what crystal calls to you to match your vibration and where you're at and what you really need it for okay so i'm using the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck there's a link for it below if you guys want this deck for yourself i get all my stuff on amazon i just put them down there for convenience okay but this is the deck that i'll be using to see what crystals you guys will be needing for September and then I'll pull some tarot cards to see why you need them and very brief like very very brief pulling of tarot cards we're not gonna go deep we're not gonna go too deep at least I'm gonna try not to I'm gonna hold back on my scorpionic nature and not dive in to find every little detail okay um, keep in mind guys for those who are not used to this these are very very general very very general by the sign so the crystals that come out I will be reading oh hold on oh damn it oops I will be reading the actual descriptions out of the book so that you can determine for yourself if you really need these crystals or not. Because why spend money if you don't really have to, right? So that's why I'm going to be reading the descriptions of the crystals, okay? All right, guys, let's get started with Aries, as always. Aries, number one first, the way you like it. <laughs> okay, Aries, Aries, Aries. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of September? What crystals would Aries benefit from for healing? Or protection or what have that was quick am I taking these I don't know I'm not taking these I'm not taking these I'm gonna show them to you I don't feel the need to take them if they come out again they come out again we have golden healer hold it up for a second so you guys can get that in soak that in aquamarine oh I love that crystal I love that crystal and then tiger's eye tiger's eye some of you guys could be dealing with finances I I feel like it's more about confidence. Tiger's Eye might come out again. Tiger's Eye might come out again. I don't feel the need to take these because we just got started, but if you guys want to get them for yourselves, here they are. Okay. All right. So let's keep it going because that was just too fast for my, my comfort. What crystals would Aries benefit from for the month of September? What crystals would Aries benefit from for the month of September? Aries, I actually am feeling confidence with you. This is interesting. Because um, Aries, usually your confidence is really hard to shake. But I think you're needing a little extra boost for some reason. You're needing an extra boost for some reason. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of September? Something has your confidence shaken. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of September? What crystals do my here flint why did that just make me think of flint michigan <laughs> anyways flint is the first crystal out let's see what other crystals want to come out here flint it's totally making me think of flint michigan that's so funny what other crystals do my aries need for the month of september Ooh, lapis lazuli 13 does someone gotta say something aries do you need the courage to say something or is it more you gotta curb what you're saying <laughs> Aries for you it's it's probably more the latter let's just be real right the lapis lazuli a lot of throat chakra energy I really yeah I, I Aries I'm just being honest I feel like it's about needing to say something in the right way whether you have to curb what you're saying or find the confidence in what you're saying what crystals do my Aries need for the month of September oh that's it that is it okay let's go ahead and read these for you so you guys can decide for yourself if it's best for you to get these oh Flint portal power Flint stabilizes energy. There you go. I feel like you guys asked me to move it closer. Is that good? Is that better? Okay. Uh, Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. Aries, are you going to have to open up about something? I think you have to open up about something. You are a person with profound inner depths. Do not be afraid to explore this hidden side. It, con it contains treasure beyond knowing together with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions <laughs> affecting well-being <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> flint connects you to your ancestors 
A natural traveler, you know how to negotiate with shamanic underworld uh, to obtain healing insights. Strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary if you left any part of yourself in another life or an abused child or an abusive childhood experience. An unwelcomed visitor from the past can be left behind, but recognize lessons before you move on. Pay attention to energetic boundaries and core strength. Cutting uh, detrimental ties and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. The uh, frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the base and earth star chakras. It's great for Scorpios and for safely exploring other worlds. Interesting. Some of you, I think, are uncovering some harsh truths from your childhood or your family, but also like um, like needing to ask about it, finding the courage to ask about it or just to have the truth come out between you and a family member or needing to maybe speak some truth about some traumas you've been through and expressing that to a partner. I'm definitely feeling that strong, Aries. Lapis Lazuli, Heavenly Wisdom. Lapis Lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present, in, present experience into perspective. <laughs> that was hard to say. <laughs> uh, you are a lineage breaker. Oh yeah, some of this is about family drama, guys. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from high. Help comes from on high. That's how it says. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the throat, third eye, and crown chakras. Great for Sagis. You could be living with a Sag Scorp Cusper. You could have that in your chart. Uh, and it's great for divine reconnection. All right. So I'm going to hold these up one more time. Flint and Lapis Lazuli. Flint and Lapis Lazuli. Let's go ahead and pull some cards and see why you need these. It means right away for this one. I'll be really using them for all of them. Just saying. All right. Why do we always need these stones? Why are these stones being called for for Aries for the month of September? What is Aries dealing with that these stones will come in handy for September? Heard confrontation. I just heard confrontation. Oh boy. Tell me why Aries needs these stones for the month of September. Why do my Aries need these stones for the month of September? What benefit is the stone, are these stones bringing to Aries for the month of September? What are Aries dealing with that they need these stones? I just heard of Aries moon, by the way. So for those who have Aries moon placement, this might um, be more pertinent for you as opposed to like Aries sun arising. Wow, they're not saying much though. They're not saying anything yet. Why do Aries need these stones? There we go. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, soulmate energy for me as a reader. Definitely Aries, I feel like you're gonna have to confront something from your childhood, something about your lineage, your any generational curses, family issues because of a soulmate, okay? The soulmate could be someone in your family that you're having a confrontation with and you're demanding some truth for them or that something be talked about or discussed or something be worked out. For others, it's to improve a current relationship, okay? Like romantic relationship. Why would these stones benefit Aries for the month of September? Why would these stones benefit Aries for the month of September? I'm hearing Sagittarius. Oh, jeez, they really don't want to say very much. <laughs> okay, what? Thank you. Oh, yeah, High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Because there can't be no secrets no more. No more secrets. No more family secrets. No more secrets about ch childhood wounds. No more secrets between two people. No more secrets. Laying it all out on the table. Oh, please focus. 
laying it all, all out on the table, having the courage to discuss your, your childhood wounds, to discuss these family secrets, to discuss secrets between two people. But I feel like family is at the core of this. Oh shit, Seven of Swords just came out. Aquarian energy. Yeah, I feel like this is about secrets from the past, some bad crimes from the past. You know, Aries, I think this is also trying to address any, um, and I'm just the messenger, any kind of like bad behavior that you might have or that someone else might have because of their, their childhood wounds, also because of that. Like almost like finding out why someone acts the way they do because of their childhood wounding or their family issues. Any other messages for Aries for why these crystals are needed? It does feel like a confrontation though. Any other reasons why, why Aries needs these crystals? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Aries, this couldn't be clear. This couldn't be clear. Now we have the Four of Wands, Aries energy, and Six of Wands in a verse landed right on top of the Two of Cups, okay? So since it landed on the Two of Cups, I'm going to put it in front of there because I feel like that's where it belongs. Wow, that Seven of Swords really wanted to get away from me. So Aries, look at this. This is why these crystals are needed. There's something about a current soulmate situation or relationship. It could even be just between you and a family member. It doesn't have to be love, but for a lot of you, I feel like it is. Something's not working. Something's not working between two people here. And it's because someone's had a lot of uh, sabotaging, sabotaging, <laughs> sabotagery, deceptive energy within a family environment, or someone actively has sabotaged a connection, a relationship. And the reason behind that is family wounds or childhood wounds, okay? Uh, some are also finding out that their own family has sabotaged a relationship that they've had. You know what I mean? Where it's kind of like, you know, maybe you found out that your mom said some horrible shit to your girlfriend or like something like that. Oh. To your girlfriend or boyfriend you know something like that finding out that someone at home or someone in their family is very deceptive and that's why oh that's why a relationship couldn't work aries you could be finding that this person's coming from your family which is why you're needing these crystals to not only protect yourself from this family member but also to have the truth laid out on the table um and to really just, just be done with that shit. <laughs> be done with that shit. overall energy we have a six of pentacles in a verse taurian energy and then we have a king of cups yeah Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Someone who has a lot of love here felt like they got the shitty end of the stick. It's someone that Aries you share a connection with. So this could be could have been them or you, doesn't matter. But someone had a lot of love for you or you had a lot of love for them. Either way, the person who still has that love felt like they got jilted in this or felt like they got served in a shitty hand. Um, it just feels very imbalanced, but it wasn't their fault because on the other person's end, there is like some sneaky family member where they had self-sabotaging behavior because of childhood wounding or family issues and that is being dealt with and that's being com uh, coming to light. That's coming to light. Okay? Oh, God, Aries. Sorry, I'm getting downloads a lot like crazy today, so I'm talking really fast. If you have to go back, you gotta go back. That's okay. Hmm. Okay. Taurus. Taurus. Let's see what's up with my Taurians. What's up with my Taurians? Oh, my crown is way open all of a sudden. Okay, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of September? How are we doing on time? Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. 2.32. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of September? I just have plans tonight, that's all. That's all. <laughs> just trying to stay on schedule. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of September? Hearing protection. What crystals do my Tor? I'm, I would not be surprised as a black tourmaline comes out, Taurus. For some reason, I'm feeling the heavy need to protect yourself or you're feeling intruded upon. You're feeling intruded upon. It could just be by people. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of September? Tiger's Eye. It could be an Aries Taurus Cusper because this did kind of peek out for Aries, right? Tiger's Eye. Confidence and abundance here. I feel like you're feeling the need to protect your assets. Yeah, you're feeling the need to protect your, ass your assets. It's almost like, why are you looking over here? Don't look over here. You don't got to look at my money. Stop looking over here. You're feeling intruded on. You're definitely feeling intruded on. Any other crystals for Taurus for the month of September? Any other crystals for Taurus for the month of September? Any other crystals for Taurus for the month of September? 
Any other crystals for Taurus? Ooh, Taurus, you only got one. Proving to be a good month for my Taurians then. Although I did the Taurus monthly for Patreon and that was sad. It made me cry. Okay, anyway. Tiger's Eye, empowerment. Tiger's Eye symbolizes prosperity and encourages right use of power. Ooh, is that focusing? It's hard for these cards to focus. Uh, it balances your needs with those of others and finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers, you make your own fate, assert yourself wisely, bring hidden talents to the fore and accept your imperfections. There's a tendency towards obsessiveness or becoming spaced out. Ground yourself, explore your past lives to, dis to discover causes of these traits, deal sensibly with day-to-day -day reality and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity, find, pos fri find, 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 find prosperity and lasting success long journeys and celebrations lie ahead your personal power confidence and energy are high use them wisely commit to goals distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need assist friends to gain their heart's desire Ooh, interesting pass why is that coming out to me hold on i'm gonna read that one for you guys again that one's really calling out to me for some reason for you guys assist friends to gain their heart's desire hmm Interesting. Taurus, you might be trying to win someone's favor or someone could be trying to win their your favor here. Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high depending on the color. It's great for the solar plexus and third eye. And Taurus, is, your solar plexus is really important. And I was picking up on some solar plexus energy in your weekly reading as well, okay? For the first uh, third of September. Great for Leos and Capricorns and for becoming empowered. Ooh, Taurus. Okay. Let's go ahead and see why you need these stones. Okay. I was about to use this deck and they're like, no. My guides are like, no. I'm going to use uh, this deck that I started using today. I'm in love with it, by the way. I'm in love with it. Again, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Santa Muerte. Santa Muerte. I think that's how you'd say that. I can't roll my R's to save my life. But anyway, Taurus, let's go ahead and check out why you need Tiger's Eye. I wasn't even touching it and a card fell out. Nine of Cups. I'm going to leave this out here. Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy, Wish Fulfillment. Wish Fulfillment here. Okay. Tony White Taurus needs Tiger's Eye. That felt, yeah, that feels very, very, very strong for you. You're going for things that make you happy and want to make you happy. And it's funny, Taurus, because remember I was saying, like, you're kind of playing keep away. Does that not look like someone playing keep away? Like, get away from my cups. <laughs> Taurus, you're in, okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, I can feel it. I can feel it. Taurus, you, you've been making a lot of plans, a lot of moves, and you're about to put all that shit into action. And you're going for what makes you really happy. You're going for your wish fulfillment, your happiness, your happy place, and whatever that means as far as who's involved in that happy place for you. I think some of you are needing some confidence here to win some people's favors, um, or to even actually even to win someone back. Someone could be feeling this way about you. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, but that's how this is feeling. It's almost like you feel like you have to prove yourself to someone, someone who you think can really add to your abundance here. That could even just be going for the job that you want, right? Like impressing your boss. So why do my Taurians need this tiger's eye? Sorry, new deck, always a little hard to shuffle. Why do my Taurians need tiger's eye for the month of September? Why do my Taurians need tiger's eye for the month of September? I really, yeah, I really feel strongly like winning someone's attention, someone's favor. Feels very masculine. Feels very masculine, Taurus. Even for my females, it's just very alpha. You're just taking charge. Why do my Taurians need Tiger's Eye for the month of September? Oh, I love these cards, man. Why, why do my Taurians need Tiger's Eye for the month of September? That's all that wants to come out so far is that Nine of Cups. Why do my Taurians need Tiger's Eye for the month of September? Why do my Taurians need Tiger's Eye for the month of September? Why do Taurians need Tiger's Eye for the month of September? Proving you deserve something is also what I just heard. Ooh, and we got a Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Moon in reverse. Wow, Moon in reverse, Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Underneath that, we have Santa Muerte. 
right? Say yeah, Santa Muerte. Death, Scorpionic energy. Oh yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Taurus, I feel really strongly that you're trying to resurrect an opportunity here. Very strongly. And you're needing the confidence to do it. You feel like it's part of your wish fulfillment. You feel like you deserve it. You feel entitled to it. And you're going to make sure you resurrect this opportunity that you feel like you missed out on. Very clear. Some of you could have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul and you're coming out of that feeling renewed, feeling refreshed, feeling like, okay, I'm ready to go for what's really mine and for what I feel worthy of. You might not have felt very worthy of this, which is why you probably missed out on it. And you're like, nope, I'm resurrecting this. I'm resurrecting this. Knight of Wands in reverse is a bit of an unpredictable energy though. I just heard Pisces. It's a bit of an unpredictable energy here, Taurus. So keep that in mind. I think this is the person you're dealing with. I think that's the person you're dealing with. Uh, someone who's a very free spirit is what I'm getting and shoots from the hip. Very free spirit and shoots from the hip, but you're trying to resurrect an opportunity that you feel is rightly yours. Wow. A little intense, but good for you, Taurus. Good for you. Good for you. All right, let's move on to Gemini after I get another sip. Mm. And a little chapstick. Hold on a second, guys. All right. Gemini. 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 Why do I feel the need to say you, say you guys three times? Manifesting. Okay. Some of you guys are manifesting. I can feel that. Some of you guys are manifesting. Show me what crystals my Geminis need for the month of September. I'm feeling play too, actually. I'm feeling a lot of playful energy. A lot of playful energy. Geminis, I feel like you have recently gone through a bit of a tower moment or some rough times here. You're ready for play and fun. Ooh, Labradites, Labradite. Oh, God, I love that crystal. So pretty. Um, so Labradite's your first crystal. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you're ready for fun. Garnet. I had, I had a feeling about that. Geminis, some of you are ready for some sexy time. Garnet coming out, I totally confirms that. You're ready for play. You're ready for fun. You're manifesting it. Some of you are actually manifesting some fun play time. Okay, or you could be using that. You could be using sex to manifest. Um, but either way, <laughs> Gemini's, uh, this is enhancing that for you. This is enhancing that for you. There's something about you that's very attractive right now in the month of September, and you're getting noticed, but you're having fun with it. Have fun, Gemini. You deserve it. You definitely deserve it. Let's see what other crystals want to come out here. Let's see. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of September? Oh, wow. You guys got quite a few crystals here. Show me what crystals my Geminis need for the month of September. Oh, okay. That one got ripped out of my hand. Ooh, turquoise. Last two. Oh, yeah. Pink granite and turquoise. So these are your crystals, guys. These are your crystals. Labradite, garnet, turquoise, and pink granite. It's funny, Geminis. The way these came out are these for each of your twins <laughs> that's kind of how it's feeling like these two feel like they belong together but separate <laughs> oh shit gemini's now you need to get a whole set for the other twin really is that what's going on here <laughs> oh my god i'm not gonna lie i'm tempted to read it that way i'm tempted to pull cards for like either set of these i might actually do you know what i'm gonna do that i'm totally gonna do that because gemini's even if it's like not for you and your twin situation. It could actually be for someone in your environment or someone that you're actually in a relationship with. And maybe you both need to like just rebalance your energy in different ways. It could definitely be that. So I'm gonna read it that way. But first I'm gonna read you the crystal descriptions to decide if you really want these crystals. <laughs> like, it really feels like that. Okay, Labradite, the mind's eye. Labradite raises your consciousness to connect to mystical dimensions and the highest pr protective energies. It strengthens your faith in yourself and aids intuitive guidance. You are an intuitive being with the gift of foresight. Keep yourself grounded. The veil between the worlds is thin. You could easily confuse yourself with imaginings. Aim for clear insights. Hold on to common sense. It is your most effective tool in assessing intuitions and acting on those that are valid. Beware of psychic vampires. Ensure that you do not have a leaky aura. You face a temporary setback. Like I said, I feel like you guys have gone through some towers recently or a rough time. Uh, you face a temporary setback, but a sudden reversal of fortune is possible. Be careful what you wish for. It may come true. <laughs> Raise your consciousness to the highest levels. Labradite indicates capricious love. Giving your energy away is bad for your health. Establishing an, an, establishing an efficient, not inefficient, efficient interface with the outside world will protect your well-being. 
The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the third eye and the crown chakras. Great for Leos, Scorpios, and Sagis, and for opening the inner eye. Yeah, some of you, you're going to know when I read you Garnet, but some of you are, are actually, yeah, be very careful with who you're sleeping with or having sex with. Um, some of you could be involved in tantric sex or something of that nature, um, but just be careful because, you know, like it was saying, a little bit of like, em Jesus, Jesus energy vampirism when you have sex with someone when you physically have sex with someone you exchange energy so anything that they're cut any funky shit they got going on will affect you okay so if you're like a being of light all high vibe and stuff and they're not they could be sucking your energy away very quickly okay so just be mindful of that but let's read garnet i think i talked about that in the capricorn video if i'm not mistaken did i oh shoot now i don't remember anyway garnet passion Garnet is a rejuvenating stone believed to protect against evil and terrifying dreams and to attract love. You are a passionate soul with a courageous heart. Be confident and constant. Let go of your inner demons, taboos, inhibitions, and fantasies. Recognize self-sabotage and expand your awareness into all that you can be. Sorry. Oh. When I channel, my nose gets itchy. Sorry. Virtue matters to you. You are capable of great devotion to cause... What? You are... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm like, I'm reading, but I'm also super blind. Hold on. You are capable of great devotion. Oh, to a cause, to a cause or a relationship and have a strong survival instinct. Take action now. A mystery is solved. Have courage. There is a way out. Turn a crisis into a learning challenge. If danger approaches, stay calm. You are protected. Be emotionally honest with yourself and others. You may attract a partner for sexual healing. Make no long-term commitment as it may fizzle out once the purpose is fulfilled. Finding an appropriate outlet for your passions and emotions creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is, me is about a medium frequency. It's great for the sacral, the heart, and for the base chakra. Great for Leos, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, and for expressing your soul's passion. Interesting, Gemini. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to this. Pink granite and turquoise. Yeah, I, f I feel like this for like two different twins or two different people. That's interesting. Where's pink granite? Okay. Pink granite, the lightning bolt. Pink granite has the highest para paramagnetic resonance of all stones and creates immense energy. You are an ancient Egyptian with arcane knowledge that role entails, but you originated in the stars. You understand uh, cycles of birth. This is for my star seeds out there. You understand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, and immortality. You have been involved in ancient power struggles. Cut yourself loose. Become more grounded. Learning experiences occur regularly, and serendipitous synchronicities put you exactly in the right place at the right time. Be assertive and make things happen. Events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention. See the whole picture before deciding. Be pragmatic, but don't give your power away. Maintain balance in a relationship. You need diplomacy and tact. Lightning can strike twice. If dealing with ancient strife, look at the bigger picture. Everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. This is great for um, all chakras. It has an earthy and high frequency and a lightning conductor for positive change and is good for all signs. Yeah, feels like two very different twins going on here <laughs> or two different people, two different people. All right, turquoise, true riches. A copper-based stone attracting good fortune since antiquity. Oh, why isn't that focusing? There we go. Turquoise was popular for protective amulets, sacred to Venus and to Buddha. It's linked, Jesus, it linked earth and sky and made a potent love charm. Your pathway is one of self-realization. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward. Draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills. Release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. The frequency of the stone is medium to high, great for the throat and third eye chakras, great for scorps, sagis, and Pisceans, and for attuning to inner riches. Wow, Gemini, what is going on with you for the month of September? I gotta read these separately. How could I not? Let's do a spread for these two. And we'll do a spread for these two. All right, so focusing on these two first, Labradorite and Garnet. I really feel like for a lot of you, this is about 
sexual energy with you and another person, please keep in mind, again, on who you're having sex with or who is drawing you in sexually. Please be careful of that, okay? All right. Using right away for this one. Why did I feel a big sigh after that? Why do my Geminis need Garnet and Labradorite for the month of September? Why do my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet for the month of September? Oh, Geminis, I feel like someone's trying to use sexual energy to, like, rein you in. Be mindful of that, okay? Be very mindful of that. Sexual healing's great, but for some of you, I do feel like it's someone who actually is trying to, like, almost, like, blind you with sex. I don't know what that's about. Like, almost blind you with sex. Like, if I just give sex to this person or sexual energy to this person, I'll keep them from, like, from doing what they want to do or, like, from rising or from becoming successful. Like, distraction by sex. I really feel that way for some of you. Tell me why my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet for the month of September. Why do my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet for the month of September? Why do my Geminis need Labradorite for the month of September? Why do my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet for the month of September? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the moon. By seeing energy, also can't see in for me as a reader. I'm getting heavy, heavy intuition with this card. Gemini, there's something you don't know. It's like, it's secretive energy, but like you, you, this is interesting. Like your intuition's trying to tell you something, but it's like you can't quite grasp it. You can't quite, quite grasp it. Tell me more as to why my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet. Ooh, King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I don't like the lack of emotion I'm feeling from this person. I feel a lack of emotion coming from this person. Is it manipulation? Yeah. Gemini, someone might be trying to manipulate you emotionally. Someone might be trying to manipulate you emotionally. Ooh, nine of wands in reverse, Sag energy. You're vulnerable to this person. Sag, Sagis, Sagis, maybe you know the Sag, I don't know. Gemini's, be very mindful. I do feel like someone's trying to manipulate you and it's almost like you're weak. You're a little weak to them and I think that's that sexual energy I was picking up on that even the cards are kind of indicating here. Your intuition, your intuition's trying to tell you something about this person and you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. I hate to say blinded by sex, but it's kind of how it feels. Uh, tell me more as to why my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet. Tell me more as to why my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet. Tell me more why my Geminis need Labradorite and Garnet here. Oh, interesting. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and Death in Reverse, Scorpionic energy. This is a revival of teamwork, is what I'm getting. Revival of teamwork. Gemini's, someone, someone is trying to, like, blind you with sex or sexual energy or something of that nature. I really feel that way. It's like someone's trying to keep you blind to someone trying to become a team with you. It's almost like something's coming up that someone you need to work with or an opportunity you need to see but you're not seeing it because someone's a, a man manipulating you emotionally and you're kind of weak and vulnerable to that you're weak and vulnerable to that and you're not seeing that and like you're, i think you're actually missing this opportunity too you're not seeing it these stones will protect you from this person's energy for sure and it will amp up your intuition to see what you need to see overall energy we have six of pentacles taurian energy yeah it's trying to come in it's trying to come in oh my god yeah two of pentacles in reverse cap energy and then the devil sexual energy two of pentacles in reverse with the devil yeah gemini's it's gonna throw you off your balance this person this person is trying to manipulate you emotionally again i feel like you're very weak to their energy like you're weak to their sexual energy and you're not really seeing that and you're not seeing that an opportunity like to create a team or collaborate or to build something is coming up for you it's trying to and you're not seeing it because this person's blinding you this person's blinding you with sexual energy or just their energy in general, okay? Interesting. Let's look at this. Pink granite and turquoise. Let's see why you need these stones. I feel like this is really about your success. 
I really feel like this is about your success and where you're going and where you're supposed to go. Um, let's use a different deck for this one. Use, yeah, let's do Gilded. Let's do Gilded. Why do my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise for the month of September? Why do my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise for the month of September? Why do my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise for the month of September? They're bringing me back here. Sorry. They're bringing me back to this situation with the sexual energy and whatnot. Um, for some of you, it, it, you are getting sexual healing and it's to heal a wound around emotional manipulation or on feeling manipulated by people uh, through sex and through emotions because an opportunity is coming up for you to collaborate with someone or work with someone, but your fear of being emotionally manipulated uh, needs to be worked out and that's what some of the sexual healing is about, okay? Ooh, so take those as it resonates. Either way, let's focus back on this. Focus back on turquoise and pink granite. I know, Geminis, you're so special. You needed two separate spreads for your twins. <laughs> All right. Why do my Geminis need pink granite or turquoise for the month of September? Because what's yours is yours is what I just heard. Why do my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise for the month of September? Why do my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise for the month of September? Oh my, oh my. Holy shit, okay. Got a lot of cards that came out here. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy. Yeah, for some of you, these two energies are relating to each other. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy with the Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy, also my Divine Soul Connection card, also about decisions of head over heart. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. And then we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Yeah, okay, Gemini is very clear. Some of you are heading towards success and you're worried about it. You have anxiety about being successful, mostly because this energy is haunting you. This energy of, again, I feel like for some of you it's connected where like someone's trying to blind you with emotions or sex or what have you. And it's keeping you from realizing the shit you got to do. It's keeping you distracted here. It's keeping you distracted and you need to make a head over heart decision. You need to go with your head. The head up here. <laughs> the head up here. You need to make a head over heart decision to stay grounded in your power of pentacles, of being grounded, of being focused on your opportunities and where you're supposed to go because you're not going to be happy if you don't. That was a double negative. You'll be unhappy if you don't seize these opportunities, Gemini. You'll be very unhappy if you don't seize this opportunity. For some of you, it's an opportunity in a business relationship or a relationship that will lead to abundance away from someone who's trying to blind you with emotion and sex to keep you stuck and to keep you trapped, okay? Yeah, hands down. Hands down, some of you are in that situation. I'm trying to see if I'm picking up on anything else. Others, it's a lack of belief in yourself. A lack of belief in yourself. Your twins are not aligned. When you, when a Gemini twins are not aligned, you guys are a little all over the place. Um, you need to get back into a King of Pentacles energy and focus on what you really need to do for yourself in order to be successful. You can be successful, Gemini. You can be very successful here. Stop worrying about it. You can do it. Don't let this manipulative person take you down from that. Some of you need this sexual healing. Uh, to see the opportunities ahead and to know that you won't be manipulated moving forward and that you are strong and that you don't have to be unhappy. Okay, Let's see what else we got out here. Tell me more about pink granite and turquoise. Why my gems need pink granite? Did I get a peeker? Nope. Any, any other reasons why my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise? Any other reasons why my Geminis need pink granite and turquoise? Overall energy, yeah. Temperance in reverse, out of balance. Sag energy. Underneath that, we have a Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Gemini, some of you feel like you don't really deserve the success that you're coming into or that you can have. You deserve it. You deserve it. Some of you feel like people will just manipulate you along the way, keeping you from your success. Those who are experiencing sexual healing, that's doing away with those wounds, okay? So you can actually go in and go for the, the relationship you want, the opportunity that you want, your goals that you want to set. Um, 
for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's emotionally manipulating you. And I feel like for that, you're actually in a committed relationship. They're manipulating you through sex or through emotions, uh, keeping you weak to their energy, keeping you bonded to their energy to keep you from seeing the opportunities that are trying to come in for you to try to get you into that King of Pentacles energy and to be successful. Okay. Keep that in mind, Geminis. Wow. Okay. Oh, Cancer, you're up finally. <laughs> I know Gemini really dominated this one. Uh, cancers, 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 cancer, cancer. Oh. Mm. And then we'll go on to the birthday, birthday Virgos. And, and then Libra, or is that it? Wait, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Oh, Leo. Oh my God, Leo, I forgot about you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know, Leos, you don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to forget about you. Anyway. Cancer. Cancer. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of September? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of September? Feeling crown and throat for you guys. Feeling crown and throat for you guys. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of September? What crystals do my cancers need for the month of September? What crystals do my cancers need for the month of September? Okay. Oh, I can never say this one. <laughs> so for those that can't pronounce all that well, don't make fun of me. I'm not a word person. I'm a number person. Anandalite. I believe that's how you say that. Anandalite. Anandalite. <laughs> Why am I saying it like that? Anandalite. Any other crystals for my cancers for the month of September? Any other crystals for my cancers for the month of September? Keep in mind, guys, if you actually get this deck, you can actually use these cards in lieu of getting the crystal for those effects of that, you're, that you're looking for. Just keep that in mind for those who actually have this deck. Let's see. What crystals do my cancers need for the month of September? What crystals do my cancers need for the month of September? What crystals do my cancers need for the month of September? Okay. Yeah, cancers, you're going through some stuff here. You're going through a lot of changes. Moldavite. Moldavite is your other crystal. So anandalite and moldavite. Moldavite. It's hard to say. Um, so cancers, let's get into this. I'm going to read Andalite first since that's the first one that came out. But cancers, I really feel like you're going through a major shift in your life here in September or a whole new chapter or just a major shift, a major transformation. And you might be struggling with that. You might be struggling with that. It might be throwing off your, um, your crown chakra and the intuition that you naturally have, um, or even just to see things clearly. Cause when we're going through a transformation, sometimes things are murky, right? Keep in mind, my camera, my camera, my phone is about to make a second video. It just literally creates the next video. I don't know why it does that because it's not like it's a space issue. It literally just creates another video like a second later. So just keep that in mind. When I switch it, there might be like a second missing. Okay, so let's get into this cancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anandalite Cosmic Consciousness. Anandalite gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages, standing in the way of spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is... I can't say that word. I'll sound it out. <laughs> Omniscient? Omniscient. Omniscient. That's an SAT word. And omnipresent. <laughs> Seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the... Phys mi mi Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live a completely different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated with a narrow band of awareness. Attune to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen right now. You are a part of everything and everything is a part of you. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateway and cleanses all chakras. Um, it's great for any time of use and for any sign. 
Uh, great for becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness. Yeah, you guys are definitely going through a shift here. Definitely going through a shift. Let's see here. For those that this resonates with. Moldavite. Metamorphosis. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into Earth some 11, mil uh, some 11 million years ago, fusing the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars and find the environment of Earth heavy and inert. Moldavite raises your vibrations with inflating cosmic lights that you feel more at home. You are on a search for the inner grail, awareness for your divine origins, release ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis. Detach yourself from mundane issues. You are going through a spiritual transformation, so dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits. Talk to your soul to check the outcome of present actions. Transcend time. Avoid sowing seeds of destruction. Fertility and good fortune await. You are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high. It's great for um, all of the upper chakras and great for Scorpios and integration of the physical and the spiritual. Oh, cancers, my goodness. So one last look. Anandalite and Moldavite. All right, let's break this down. Let's see why you need this, Cancer. I'm getting so much crown chakra energy with you, it's almost making me lightheaded. Uh, so keep that in mind, Cancers. If it becomes too much for you, just lay down and let whatever needs to come through, come through energy-wise. You might just be getting surges of energy and downloads through yourself. You just need to lay yourself down and just ride it out. Um, or keep your head covered if it's just too much for you. Why do my Cancers need Anandalite and Moldavite? Why do my cancers need an andalite and moldavite? Why do my cancers need an andalite and moldavite? Why do my cancers need an andalite and moldavite? Why do my cancers need an andalite and moldavite? Why do my cancers need an andalite and moldavite? Cups and, oh. <laughs> so six of cups, first card that came out. Scorpionic energy could also be past life, soulmate karmic energy. I feel like a lot of you are purging a lot of shit from your past. Reconciling a lot of stuff from your past. Some of you even past lives. Some of you it's even past lives. Um, I'm also feeling a lot of love too. A lot of love, cancer. Some of you, it's it's like the, the spawning of unconditional love. The spawning of that. I keep wanting to say spawn. Spawn. You might be very fertile, Cancer. So keep that in mind if you don't want any babies. Why do my Cancers need the crystal, these crystals for September? Oh, I've got a big pile here. Oh. Talk about love. Two of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader. The Tower, Scorpionic energy, also Aries, because this is Mars influence. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. And then we have Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. Justice, more Libra energy. And the Hanged Man in reverse, Piscean energy, enlightenment. Spiritual enlightenment and awakening to something. Awakening to something here. It's almost like you're waking up to what is best for you. Cancer is what I'm getting with this. Something's falling apart between you and someone else. Between you and another person, definitely a soulmate energy. And I do feel like it's a falling apart of. Nine of Pentacles in reverse and Four of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's a lot of lack of stability here, a lack of confidence. Someone's exhausted and really needing to recover, really needing to go within. Cancer, I feel like it's you. I feel like the tower was a good thing. You might have even brought in the tower, Cancer. But it left you exhausted. It left you exhausted and really needing to recover from that. And you realize it was the right decision after you go and heal and recover from that. And it's causing a transformation within you. Spiritual expansion is what I just heard as well. Sometimes when we, not sometimes, when, when we make space in our life by cutting out relationships, even just getting rid of physical things like cleaning house or purging emotionally from old heartaches or just purging in general, it can be exhausting. It can be exhausting, but it makes space. It makes energetic space for other stuff to come in. And for a lot of you Cancers, that space is being filled with a spiritual expansion, okay? 
Why else do my cancers need these stones for the month of September? Why else do my cancers need these stones for the month of September? You might not feel good about it at first, but you're going to end up feeling really, really great after this, after you get through the whole transformation process. Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Be patient with yourself during this time, Cancer, because when you're going through this transformation, that leads you, again, to more spiritual expansion, which is beautiful. Again, this isn't for everybody, but beautiful for whoever this is for. You're having a lot of trouble dealing with it. You're having trouble manifesting. You're having trouble, like, creating is what I'm getting. But be patient with yourself. This is a time to sit in silence. This is a time to sit in silence. Let yourself feel what you need to feel. Let yourself get shit out that needs to come out. And once you are done with that place of calm and you've settled into this new energy that you're coming into then you'll be able to manifest again. You'll be able to get busy again and get creative again, but be patient with yourself, okay? Overall energy, we have the star in reverse, Aquarian energy, high priestess underneath that. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Take your time with this, Cancer. There is healing come in, coming in here. That's why the star's in reverse. It hasn't happened yet. And it's gonna be a process. And this healing is going on with your intuition and your upper chakras specifically, and your consciousness. This is an upgrade for some, an ascension for some, an awakening for some. Others, it's just a lot of healing. It's a lot of healing and it's it's deep healing at that, okay? So be patient with yourself. You're transforming. Just be patient, all right? Ooh, cancers. Okay. All right, Leo. I'm not forgetting you. <laughs> I'm not forgetting you, Leo. And then we'll do birthday Virgos, all right? How am I on time? 310? Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, Leos. Mmm. Mmm. Leos, 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 Leos. Why do I feel like you're on the defensive already? I feel like you're on the defensive in September. Something's putting you on alert. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? Yeah, I feel a lot of alerted energy, alarm energy, some Nine of Swords energy. Something's, something's, something's bothering you, bothering you, disturbing you. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? Okay. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? I heard incoming. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> what crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? Oh, Moldavite. Okay, so you could be a cusper. Something is upsetting you, though. It's very clear something's upsetting you. So I'm not going to repeat this one just because I already... I already said it because <laughs> I already said it. So Cancer had this. If you're just going straight to Leo, Cancer had this. So go ahead and watch Cancer. Um, I'm just going to put that off to the side. What the hell? Oh, my God. Sorry. Th this picture is very phallic, and I thought I, I saw something that I didn't. Anyway, what other crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of September? Really? No other ones came out, Leo. Moldavite. So like I said, I just read this one. Um, so please go ahead and back to Cancer, because um, Cancer had this one. But Leos, I feel strongly something's putting you on alert. Something's putting you, putting you on, on alert. You're feeling defensive. You're feeling the need to defend yourself. And it could be because there's something around you or in your life or something about you that's changing. Circumstances could be changing and there's something incoming. Excuse me. You could be getting messages or news um, from someone or someone could be approaching you causing major changes in your life. Something, Something's coming. Something's coming, Leo, and it's putting you on alert. You probably already sense it. You probably already sense it before it comes in. I'm actually going to use the Santa Muerte deck. Santa Muerte? I can't say it. Uh, 
Santa Muerte. <laughs> I'll be putting a link below for those who want this deck, okay? Why do my videos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Mm. And Leos, it's funny because you're not afraid of change as long as you're controlling the change. But I think that might be why you're on alert. It might be something out of your hands. Why do my Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do Leos need Moldavite? That really wants to come out. Ooh, the star. Aquarian energy. Ooh, the, oh my god, that's a beautiful card. Take a look at that. The star, Aquarian energy. Leos, whatever this is, it's a blessing. It's a good thing. But for some reason, it's really putting you on alert. Alert. It's making you really anxious. It's making you really, really anxious. I think just because it's something that you don't have control over. Why do my Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do my Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? It's a very positive thing. It's very positive, whatever this is. Why do my Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Why do my Leos need Moldavite? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Why do Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Yeah, Leo, something's being forced on you. And I think that's why you're on alert. Why do my Leos need Moldavite for the month of September? Oh, yeah. And there's the Nine of Swords. So we have three cards out here. The Star, Aquarian Energy. Six of Swords in Reverse, more Aquarian Energy. And then the Nine of Swords. Just exactly what I was feeling for you here. Nine of Swords is Gemini Energy. It's interesting they're in a boat. It's very interesting they're in a boat. So, crash land. I just heard crash land. Leo's, something's happening in the month of September. Feels like it's being forced upon you, but it feels like it's healing, okay? It feels like it's healing. It feels very positive. It feels like a good thing, but it feels like it is out of your control, which is why I think you're freaking out a little bit, but it's causing transformation and change in and around your life, okay? Overall, we do have the hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. Underneath that, we have the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles in reverse, and then we have the lovers, Gemini energy here. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Leo's, whatever this decision is, because it's a decision. Someone's made a decision, for sure. And it feels like a very balanced decision after they thought about it for a long time. And this could be you making this choice, but it feels like it's something being forced upon you. Something's happening between you and another person. Or again, it could be happening to someone around you, but it does affect you. It affects you. It affects you, okay? So it could be someone you live with, but it feels like a decision's been made after someone's been thinking long and hard about something and it's filling you with anxiety to either heal a situation or get away from a situation. Because then underneath that we have the tower and then we have justice. Tower and justice. This is why it's giving you anxiety. It's a tower moment, but it's balancing things out. Justice is coming in after the tower. Sometimes things have to fall apart, Leo. Sometimes things have to fall apart and sometimes we can't control that and it is for our betterment sometimes. It might be giving you a lot of anxiety, whatever it is, and it is being forced upon you. I really feel strongly. It's like you either have no choice but to make this decision and it's giving you a lot of anxiety to make this choice because it's something you didn't see um, coming. It's something that you didn't like think you'd have to do or it's a choice being made that's causing a tower moment in your life and it's being forced upon you. This change is being forced upon you. It's causing a bit of chaos and anxiety for you, but it is healing first and foremost. First and foremost, it's healing and it's positive. So Leo, even if it's totally out of your control or it's something that you didn't think you'd have to do, it is causing change in your life, but it's for better. It's for your betterment. It's for your healing and the betterment of you, okay? Oh, Leos, okay. Virgos, happy birthday, Virgos. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and see what crystals my Virgos need. Mm. Virgos, 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 Virgos. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? I'll probably be getting to part two tomorrow. Probably tomorrow in all reality. Probably tomorrow. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of September? Oh, Virgos. Okay. So guys, some of these crystals are not exactly crystals. Um, so we have Soulmate. And it came out very separate. And this is the phallic energy I picked up on when I, well, I picked up on that I saw when I was looking at the deck earlier. I think when I was looking at Leo. Anyway, Soulmate. And then we have Blue Lace Agate and Rhodozite. Oh, Virgos. Ooh, what's going on here? Rhodozite. Phil committed. Come on, come on. Jesus. I can't talk. <laughs> Feel communication is needed, Virgo. Communication is needed here. Any other crystals? Any other crystals needed for my Virgos? Any other crystals needed for my Virgos? Oh, nope, that's it. That's it, guys. So let's get to reading these crystals here. So I'm going to read Soulmate. I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. Soulmate, the twin flame. Two crystals side by side, call on a twin flame, a, com a compliment to your soul. This is what people mean when they ask for a soulmate. A twin flame bonds two people in an intimate relationship or unites you with a higher part of yourself. You yearn to be loved, but does this come from a black hole you need to fill? Black holes can be filled only from the inside. By loving yourself fully and integrating different facets of your being, a twin flame means embracing deep intimacy and interdependency between yourself and another at the spiritual and physical levels. Old heartbreak may need to be healed. Ties with a past companion cut or vows renegotiated. Prepare for open-hearted, intimate, unconditional love. Decide whether you want a soulmate with the soul lessons that implies or a twin flame, a companion of your heart. You don't need anyone else to make you complete. A twin flame complements your own, your own wholeness. Unconditional, mutually supportive union. This is at play for you, Virgos, in the month of September. And considering it is Virgo season, this might apply to more than just you, okay? It's really just hitting home like, hey, whatever you're dealing with right now, it's like it's about feeling that lack of love because you feel like you need to be loved or you feel that you're very loving and you are, of course you are. And deciding, do I want a soulmate or a twin? So you might actually be in that position of needing to decide between that. Okay, very interesting. All right, let's go, go into these glow. Let's glow, let's glow. Let's look into blue lace agate and rhodozite. Rhodozite, okay? Yeah, I feel like it's about communication. Blue Lace Agate, self-expression. Blue Lace Agate connects spirit with intellect. Highlighting integrity, it enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is on your mind and heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You have been, you have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems. So speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy. Accept your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension. Thyroid deficiencies and throat are lymphatic infections. The, stone of the, the frequency of the stone is medium to high. Great for the throat, the third eye, the heart, and the crown chakras. Great for Geminis and Pisceans and expressing yourself fully. All right, now I'm going to read Rhodozites. Okay. Rhodozite. 
Mighty Power. Zingy Rhodozites, <laughs> that's cute, is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces between. Karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your, pre in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic disease. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part, as can those of other people direct, directed towards you. Check out, that harm check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around, you, around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. Living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high, great for the earth star solar plexus, um, great for uh, Sagis and Scorpios and Libras, and for healing the earth. Oh man, some of you this is definitely about a divine counterpart, twin flame scenario, for sure. No doubt about it. Healing the earth and needing to communicate? Is that not the epitome of the issues <laughs> and highlights of a twin flame situation? <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's pull some cards, Virgo, and see why you need these stones. Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? One more. very quick. Wow. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy with the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio and the Magician. Mercurial energy could also be Virgo, Gemini or Aquarius, Scorpio. For me as a reader, divine masculine energy. Virgos, you need this stone because you're hurting, okay? You're hurting and you're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest. Someone wants to heal with you as well. Virgos, you're trying really hard to focus on you and you're trying to manifest things in your life and someone wants to heal with you while you're doing this. Could definitely be a twin or a soulmate that wants to heal with you. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Hanged man, Piscean energy with the three of wands in a verse, Aries energy and wheel of fortune in a verse, Jupiter energy. I feel like this is the energy that wants to heal with you. They're stuck. They're really, really stuck, Virgo. And if you're dealing with a twin situation, if you get these stones and can work on your throat chakra and also work on just getting to a better physical state by healing the environment around you, this person will feel that because they're very much stuck. I feel like they're having a little bit of a pity party too, to be honest with you. Um, they're upset that something hasn't happened their way. And they're really stuck in a hangman position trying to figure out why it hasn't happened the way they wanted it to, why it didn't go their way. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pity party. It's a little bit of a pity party, Virgos. And you're busy trying to make shit happen, even though you're hurting. And even though there's this sense of like, God, I need to fix something. I need to fix something. It's not your responsibility to fix it. You can only fix yourself and work on yourself. And that's also part of this whole divine counterpart twin flame journey is working on yourself, doing the internal work. And yes, your counterpart will feel that. Your counterpart will feel. We will feel that. Ah. Okay. Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Virgos need these stones for the month of September? Virgos, I'm also getting a sense of like, what else can I do is what I'm getting. What else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? Almost like you're thinking more like beyond yourself. Like you're thinking about the collective. You're thinking about other people, like humanitarian work. I'm picking up humanitarian work. What else can I do for other people? How else can I help other people? That's beautiful. We have one other card out here. There it is. There is the communication. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be uh, air or fire. I did just, I was about to say water. I was about to say water. So you keep doing the water sign or you could have that in your chart. 
but Gemini energy here. This could be a Gem Cancer Cusper as well. Communication. And it landed right in between the two of you guys. Right in between this energy and that energy. Keep focusing on you, Virgo. Keep doing your internal healing. Keep trying to manifest what you want for yourself. And keep also trying to manifest humanitarian work that a lot of you are feeling the need to do right now. Because you're going to be doing that and this person's going to be feeling it. And this person needs to deal with their own shit, okay? They're having a pity party. They're hanging themselves up. They need to work out their own shit. But I feel like what the more inner work you do, the more you manifest, the more it's going to push this person to come in and talk to you. Yeah, because they want to push the wheel forward with you. On the bottom, we have five of wands. So clearly you two are at odds right now. Yeah, five of wands, nine of wands, Jesus, and two of cups in reverse. Leo, Sag energy, Cancerian energy. There's a lot of fighting between the two of you right now. And Virgo, I feel like you're very guarded from this person. You're very, very guarded from this person because there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of tension. There's been a lot of conflict, mostly because there's been inner conflict, right? And that's why I'm saying, Virgo, keep working on yourself. Keep working on your inner healing because it's putting you in a place to manifest big shit for yourself and for other people, for those who are thinking about the collective or humanitarian work. And the more you're doing that, the more it's going to motivate this person to light a fire under their butt and stop with the pity party to come in and communicate to you. All right. So before I end this, I am going to use a Kipper deck on the side of swords. Okay. Okay. Tell me what this communication's about. Tell me what this communication is about. What are they going to be saying to Virgo? Tell me about this Knight of Swords for Virgo for the month of September. Since it's your birthday, why not? Change. I want to change things. I want to change our circumstance. Sorry. <laughs> Just trying to make light of the situation. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords for Virgo for the month of September. Tell me more about this communication. Yeah, they're basically gonna say, Virgo, I don't wanna be having a pity party anymore. I want things to move forward with us. Can we move things forward with us? They might even tell you they've changed some things about themselves. True or not, they might even say that. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Virgo. But you're so guarded from this person, I can feel it. You're very guarded from them. I feel like when you manifest your healing, Virgo, um, more of your internal healing, that guard might fall down. And once that guard falls down, they might come in because they can feel that there's an opening energetically. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Virgo for the month of September. Wow, journey. Yeah, journey. They could be traveling to come and see you. They could literally be in, be in transition of a cycle closing or some kind of change or transformation in their own life. The nine to the ten is progression. It's progression. And journey is literally about closing a chapter, opening another chapter. Very much wheel of fortune energy, right? Moving things forward or world energy, opening something new. And definitely could be travel involved in this or like maybe even asking you to travel to see them or go on a trip together. Also indicative of that. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Oh, that's it on the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Expectation. Three of Wands energy. This is my Three of Wands card in the Kipper deck. It's it's actually a timeline energy as well of three months. So three months ago, something could have happened or this could be, um, they could be finally communicating three months from now. Something about three months for some of you, okay? Um, it's also a cyclical energy. So closing a cycle of waiting, closing a cycle of stagnation, charge separation. Yeah, underneath that, courtship. Courtship is the beginning of something new. Discussions, n dating someone, new business partner. The expectation of starting something new or starting something up again or rekindling something. They might have waited for three months to do this. They might have waited for three months to do this, to talk about this and acknowledge this. And they're coming in now saying like, let's do this. Let's make this change. Sorry, saw spirit. Uh, <laughs> spiritual problems. Anyway, let's make this change. Let's make this change. Let's close this cycle. Let's start anew. Let's rekindle this. That's what they're going to say. That's what they're going to say to you. 
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did, and I hope you guys found it very helpful um, for those who really want to get these crystals or that they're resonated with. By all means, you know, go for it. For those where none of these resonated, sorry. Just other people had to hear it. Some other people are in probably more dire circumstances and really need these crystals or need to be in awareness of getting these crystals, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great night. Namaste.